All right. Okay, so time to turn it on. We have everything hooked up. I'm gonna get you guys a good of a view of the keyboard, uh, the screen as possible. So we're turning her on. She's off. We're gonna be awfully loud. So sorry about the loud screeching noises in the camera. For starters, let's try to get into the BIOS. Let's tab it. Okay, there you go. Okay, so here we go. Let me try to zoom in a bit more. Let's see, hopefully, you guys can see. Um, okay, so we have uh, an eight. Uh, uh, the processor is an 8486DX. Uh, it's a math cool processor, yes. BIOS state 110194. Uh, 664732 uh, megabytes of RAM. Uh, CLGD5430 is the video controller. 1024 kilobytes. 539 megabytes of uh, hard disk space. Uh, CD-ROM drive. Uh, 1.44 millibyte, uh, megabyte, 3.5 inch uh, floppy diskette. You got your serial A, serial B, parallel port, mouse installed, keyboards running, uh, di disabled. As shocking as this is, and it's the first time I'm turning on this PC since I first got it from my friend, and that was like six, seven months ago, is it knows the date. Uh, it's, uh, it's crazy that it knows the date and the time. I'm not really familiar with military time, so 2033, I hope, is around the time that my computer registers. 32-bit uh, protected. There's one event. <coughs> Just get adapter card remote. Uh, okay, yeah, that's about that. So let's get right into the OS. Starting PC DOS. Try resetting it. There it goes. <clears throat> you don't get to see a computer start like this. It's been years. Rapid resume scanning. <coughs> IBM Octavia. Oh, let's see if it works. Wow. I think it's struggling there. <laughs> Windows 3.1. Exactly sure how to get this thing to focus properly. There we go, maybe that might help. There's that chime. There it goes. You guys can see that okay. Okay, um if I remember correctly, there was a bunch of games on here, but I think a lot of them needed the discs, which I didn't get any discs with. <coughs> I probably could search these up on the internet, see if they have them. There's a couple of things that might be able to allow for me to try, I guess, quickly. Um, America Online. Wow, look at that. 
Get the clock, what it says. Yeah, no, I'm screwed. I don't know how to tell the time. Digital, please. Thank you. Holy, wow. No, time is off by one hour. So, 9.18 p.m. now. 8.36 there. 3.29.21 is the exact date. That is insane how it knows the time, how old this machine is. So, it must have that cart that allowed for it to extend its date. I think it was a cart or something. I might be wrong. Like I said, I don't know too much about 486s and things like that. Um, I just don't. CD. Did I go through these? Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, okay, close that. Oh, the games. Sorry, I missed a lot. Okay, games. There you go. We got Fast Brawl Need for... Oh, look at that. Does Need for Speed work? Cannot find... And, oh, man. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> well, for those who remember this solitaire, I guess, that's that, that's old school in itself. Uh, let's see if we do the deck. I had the little robot. Does the thingy move with it? Oh yeah, that's right. That does move back and forth. <coughs> Post that. Install WinFax print packs. Productivity. Oh, if you wanted to do some money stuff, I guess. Uh, startup. See, get there's like no startup files. So I wonder if this was like Windows 3.1, the kids version, so you don't mess up the computer or something. It's got, you know, like some good software in terms of audio functionality goes like creative mix I remember like that's uh, oh that, I don't know what that is I think I wanted wave studio maybe but ensemble MID I remember these types of structures on Windows 98 and stuff they used to have these applications TV aware so that means software specific for this computer. What in the hell's a personal desktop? I haven't seen that. Oh. Huh? Hey, that might help. Will this give me back the startup options? It's got children there. I didn't realize that was a trick. Oh god. The hard drive is so loud. Oh, um, it's like not even letting me load now. Did I crash the computer? <coughs> Technology so old. I think I broke it. it. Let's see if that even works. Control delete. Uh, wow, I haven't seen that in years. This is maybe business. <coughs> See, but oh, yeah, I know she crashed. Well, we all learned a lesson here. Don't uh, fiddle with what you don't know. Okay. See the remit text. Yeah, I'm fiddling too much with this thing. I'm gonna probably break it. See you guys, I don't know a lot about Windows 3.1. Personally, in my opinion, they both, Windows 3.1 and, and Apple or Mac OS, the first original, like the older versions of Mac, kind of have a similarity, similarity to uh, Windows 3.1. Well, I can say I crashed Windows 3.1. That's sad. <laughs> <coughs> I guess one thing that's like astonishing is that this has a sound card, man. That was pretty rare for these units, man. I Sound cards were pretty expensive, I think, back in the day, too. PC Docs Razer 6.3 Revision 0. I didn't even see that the last time. I think I broke it. Oh no, it's loading. There you go. Well, we won't click on that, because I learned the lesson the last time.
that chime is so old. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're back at the program manager after killing the computer. Sorry. <laughs> oh man. 94. What? I think you'd be pushing 30 now. No, 94, you'd be 28, right? Or 27. So this machine's 27 years old today. Wow. Uh, DOS, DOS. Let me try to remember DOS a little bit. DOS is one of those things where, like, back in the day, uh, a lot of this was based off of typing and stuff. So, like, if you wanted the directory, you'd push, type in DIR. If you wanted the CD-ROM drive. Or is it D? No, D drive would be the CD-ROM drive. No, I don't even. A would be this. Uh, let me get a floppy disk to put in the A drive. I might have one up here. Uh, oh, don't have one. Okay. <coughs> I'd have to go down to the shop and grab one. Uh, A would uh, like if we did A shift slash. That's like that because it's not um. There's no floppy drive, but I'll bore it for now. It's probably not gonna let me. I gotta fail. Even the. Um, oh, hold on. I gotta. I think C now. C shift. There you go. Uh, you can go win, but it's already because I'm in win. Uh, that's how you would start the computer back in the day. And if I wanted to go to. So if you, let's say if I wanted to go to the soft key directory, you do like CD shift and the slash thingy and then soft key. It's been so long. See, so yeah, I, yeah, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. All right, let me go, <coughs> let me go back to windows and shut down, I guess. Um, alt enter. Oh, yay. Okay. so. That was pretty much a full screen version of DOS. Um, there's a bit of a DOSy outlook in in, um, in uh, Windows 10. It's command prompt, but oh, you got here. Oh yeah, Alt F4 works. I forgot. Alt. That scared the light on me. Um. Hey. <coughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, there. I, I guess I minimized it. Microsoft Kids. Uh, I think those needed discs after dark. Don't even want to know what that is. Especially since I'm recording in the dark. What is this? Huh? So what in the heck is this? That up. Oh, it's like a screensaver thing. Oh, cool. Do they even have screensavers on Windows 10? Let me check. So apparently it's like a screensaver with like, I'm gonna say Disney stuff. Starry, starry night. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. Ting. I gotta really lower that down, man. That thing keeps startling me. What was that? Um, multimedia, I think, was. Multimedia Basics? Yeah, okay. Music Mentor. Ninety Not enough room on this. Delete files and try again. One of the things. That sucked with smaller hard drives, man. It happened, like, believe me, this stuff happened a lot. I think he, this is probably to hook up a keyboard to it. Yep, this is probably to hook up a keyboard to it. It would be kind of cool to throw these onto a form of a media device and uh, put, pop them up onto Windows 10 to, to be able to see these. At, ah, everything needs a CD. Monolock for Windows. What in the hell is that? I, I don't know. Probably gonna be like something that's gonna scare me in a few minutes. Anyways, before I screw this whole thing up, I'm going to shut her down. 
and I think end this here. Ah! Uh, oh wait, this I minimize that. There you go. Did this thing talk? I'm concerned. Testing one two three. Ooh, that was very computer. That is um. Oh, we have the female version. Hey, what does eight bit sound like? Testing one two three. Oh Christ, that's very like, that's very computerized. <laughs> Testing one, two, three. Hey, 60 minutes sounds nice, I guess. <laughs> so, I'm gonna say, Testing one, two, three. this is that text to speech thing. Um, yeah, let's just um, shut her down. Oh, if I type in exit, I think that's how that works. Thank you. It only took 15 minutes for that one. Okay, now I can shut down this thing. Alright. Did it. There you go. There you go. It's cool. Um, so this is like an Octavia menu. Go to Microsoft Windows. Go to DOS prompt. Use additional DOS utilities. Create a TV recovery diskette. I want to try to see if there's a way to shut down the computer. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, let's end the video here.